So I received an email yesterday from a guy who claims that what I'm doing here on YouTube is a total waste of time. Now he's an atheist and the email he sent me must have been, it must have taken him 30 to 40 minutes to write this email. It's literally seven to eight paragraphs long and it's full of nothing but hate for the very thing that sustains his life right now and that's God. Now, God haters come in all types of shapes and sizes, okay? You've got the atheistic, irrational God hater like the man that wrote this email and then you've got the and you've got men like Leighton Flowers of Soteriology 101 who hate God, but they, they do it in a more subtle way. It's harder to see, but it's there. Now, back to the guy who wrote this email. Imagine the lack of peace that someone must have, okay? To have this much hatred for the very thing that you know truly exists. To have to live a life in which you are constantly having to suppress the truth about your own creator, okay? That's a miserable life. That's a life of no peace at all. This man has actually taken the time to write eight paragraphs to me, okay, an essay on why he hates God, okay? Now ask yourself, who asked him to write that? I didn't ask him to write that. Who asked him to reach out to me and write an eight paragraph letter about why what I'm doing here on YouTube doesn't make any sense, okay? And the reason he did that is because of his conscience. That's why. Now imagine this, you have a machine hooked up to your body and that machine is what's keeping you alive. Now, without that machine, you will die. Now, imagine waking up each and every day and spitting on that machine, then getting out of bed and kicking it and treating it as though it's not substantial, as though it doesn't matter. That's a pitiful illustration of the life of an atheist. Their whole life, they are spitting at the very God that sustains their very heartbeat. They spit at the God that gives them the strength and in his benevolence provides their every need. We have no idea how loving our God truly is. But here's the scary part about that. The day will come when that love will cease and then judgment. Now, I'm going to read John Eady writes, All things were brought together and are still held together in him. The energy which created is alone competent to sustain. He created and he is the only one who can sustain the entire universe. Do you realize how much your life depends upon Him? Your next breath depends upon the Son of God. And those who rail against Him, those who hate Him, those who mock Him, those little people who write cartoons against Him, they can only move their pen by the power of the one that they're mocking. Think about that. Every successive moment of providence being, as it were, a successive of creation. Now you think creation was a great thing. And you're right. But now just imagine this. Every moment is as though he were recreating again and again and again and again. Every beat of the clock, a similar power is being manifested and recreating, 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 sustaining, sustaining. It wasn't just a one-time thing, but it's something that continues on. And He does this. Now think about this. He did that when He was on the cross. 